Just a minute. The Bible going to contradict you, Armstrong. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Armstrong here. Here now. Armstrong here. Do you believe the Bible? Do you believe the Bible? And he gave some of us Do you believe the Bible? Armstrong. Armstrong. Do you believe the Bible? Question real quick, brother, so we can let you go. Yes, sir. Yes, I'll show you this. In the, book, right. in the book of Ephesians chapter 4. Let me help you. Ephesians chapter 4 and at verse 11. Listen good. And he gave some apostles. And God. Some, it's not talking about what God done. He gave some apostles. And some prophets. Some prophets. And some evangelists. Some evangelists. Evangelists. More than one. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Go, go back and begin at, uh, begin it again. And he gave some apostles. Plural. Right. That's, that's talking about men. Right. Because Christ is no plural to him. All right. And some prophets. Oh, men that got that title. What else? And some evangelists. Men that got that title. What else? And some pastors. That's men. <laughs> Hold it. Let's respond to it. That, that command was given by Paul. It does not supersede the commandment. That was not given by Paul. It was given by Paul. No, it wasn't. Let, let, me, let me educate you again. Let, let me help you. Some secret place, Jesus gave Paul. The authority to change that command. He didn't change it. He did change No, he didn't. Yeah. Let, let, listen, Brother Armstrong, let, let me help you. Brother Armstrong, let me help you. Listen, let me help you, brother. Listen, Paul got his message from God. Amen. Let's read that real quick, son. That's what Paul got it. Give me the first chapter of the book of Corinthians. Chapter 1, begin at verse 1. Don't first be too slow on. chapter 1 and at verse 1. Let me show you where Paul got his information from. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ. Paul was called. To be an apostle of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Through the will of God. He spoke by God's will. And Sosthenes, our brother. Now, everything that Paul preached was from God's will. The word pastor simply means shepherd. Jesus came here. He had the title apostle. He also was called minister. He also was called chief shepherd and bishop of our souls. He also was called prophet because the Bible said God can raise him a prophet like me. Him shall you hear in all things. So Jesus was the first one to have these titles. So when he had these titles, he died and then brought those titles and left them in the church and made man to fulfill those titles that he first wore. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? Huh? So. Hey fam, I have got something juicy for you today. Why this man put Gino Jennings to the test about the Bible? And trust me, things go from 0 to 100 real quick. This is one showdown you won't want to miss. Stay tuned as we dive deep into the world of biblical debates and see how this encounter unfolds. Get ready to have your mind blown and your thoughts provoked as these two clashes in an epic battle of beliefs. Buckle up and get ready for a ruler quester ride of intellectual warfare. Let's see how comes out on the top in this epic clash of ideologies. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss a second of this explosive confrontation. Gino Jennings, a prominent religious figure, has been known for his passionate and often controversial views on biblical matters. When someone challenges him about the Bible, things can indeed escalate rapidly, whether it's a theological debate, a different in interpretation, or a clash of beliefs. Jennings is not one to back down easily. His fairy sermons and confrontations have garnered attention online and viewers are often left with strong reactions. Whether you agree or disagree with him, there's no denying that Gino Jennings knows how to make an impact. Remember, discussions about religious can be sensitive and it's essential to approach them with respect and an open mind. At the end, I would request to all, please subscribe my channel and we will give you more information in upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. God bless you.